And if there's anything that ISO 55000 does, if it's implemented well, it's add that, that uh, coordination factor and governance over the top. You've got your operations laid out and, and your processes out there and you're evaluating yourself as you move forward. All of those things in a good management system, if you get those things in place, it helps make sure that the decisions that you're making are answering the mail and letting you do it the best way that's possible. We did get that leadership buy-in from the top. We memorialized it in an investment strategy, but then uh, you got to follow the money to really motivate the folks in the field, right? So what we really did to get that good data input from the field and really get all the other folks at every other level that Russell just mentioned really on board with making those same kinds of decisions was we tied money to it. We started incentivizing their money at the base and then receiving certain portions of their money to doing what the ISO uh, system says we need to do on life cycle asset management, you know, really investing in the optimum sweet spot and then using their data for data driven decisions and making those good investment choices aligned with what we said is most important, using that tactical MDI, refreshing that tactical MDI in our system, an objective scoring system, and using that for every single investment decision that's recorded and is transparent for everyone at every level to see, which is just, I'm just saying what, what Mr. Wendegard already said, but um, it's a very objective and transparent process and the buy-in is now at every level, but it had to start at the top and now we've trickled it all the way to the bottom by tying money to it. And man, did it get, get momentum and interest when we did that. <laughs>